What's up everyone? This is Chase Walker. If you follow me, you probably already knew that, but a lot of you don't get to see or hear from my dad over here. Hello. Um, and I wanted to give you guys sort of a look into what we kind of do, at least when I'm home, because uh, most of the time I'm in Nashville, but I'm back in California uh, for the NAMM show this weekend and uh, wanted to show you guys a little bit of what we kind of do outside of, of music uh, for the most part. And ever since I was real little, um, me and my dad have always been going out to remote locations and doing what we now know is called overlanding, apparently. It's basically just taking a, a decked out rig like this in the middle of nowhere and uh, camping out for however long it is that you want to do. So what, what's been going on is basically we've been working on this Jeep because you got to maintain it and you have to keep things uh, running smoothly. And my dad has just recently come up with this cool new, um, I would say an invention of sorts with uh, basically a way of storing water pretty efficiently and being able to filter water from outside sources that you might come across. So what we did is we're looking for a way of storing water on the Jeep and having it really easily usable uh, for showering or uh, washing dishes, getting something to drink. Um, so what I used was uh, some six inch PVC pipe that you can get from Home Depot and create a six gallon tank that's mounted up on the Jeep. And just so I know how much water's in it, I PVC glued in some clear half inch PVC pipe that's got some marks on it. You can zoom in here, you'll see. Um, tells you how much water's in the tank. Right now it's a little over four gallons in it. Routed that here through a pump that holds 35 PSI in the line. And these little valve lines here are delta faucet uh, shower diverters for using a wand in the shower. And I put these in here so it allows me to change directions if I want to suck water up into the tank instead of pumping water out of the tank. comes back over to a air hose reel. And just a little air hose reel from Northern, cost $24 I think. So you can reel this hose out however far you want. And it'll lock itself at certain points. And you need water, you just turn the pump on. Hook it in with these air connection lines. Just wanted straight water. If you're trying to take a shower, you would uh, Now I've hooked it up also with some quick disconnects here that you want to route in a hot water heater, which eventually I'm going to mount a hot water heater right here behind the back window so you can have, with the propane bottles, you can have instant hot water. And then when you're ready to need to fill the tank back up, all you do is change the uh, valve directions here and instead of pumping water, it now sucks water up. And I use one of these Sawyer backpacking $16 water purifiers to, uh, if you're accessing stream water or any source that you aren't sure is clean. And I put that, I put this little coupler around just to keep it because these Sawyer filters, these little tabs on the end will break off pretty easy, whereas one is actually broke off. So to keep it from breaking, I just put a, a I just have it to keep them from getting bent when you throw it in the vehicle. But this would go onto the hose 
And then to help the pump, just because we're going through this one micro, 0.1 micron membrane, there's a lot of pressure, I put a little external 12 volt pump. You just drop and hook this to any 12 volt power source. I have it to a little Makita battery here. You just drop it in the water. Turn it on, turn this pump on, and it's now sucking water from your water source and filling the tank back up. Now one of the things you do want to do is open the lid here to let air out as it's filling. And with this little Sawyer filter, it takes about four minutes to do a gallon. Pump it back in. If you got a better filtration system, you can do it a lot quicker. But this works, these are like $16. And as you can see here, it's sucking the water out of this, pumping it back into the tank at four minutes a gallon. I also made for it, if you've got access to a hose or whatever, you can just quick disconnect it to that, hook it to a clean water source and pump it real fast to fill it up. Or it's got a cap at the top you can drop a hose in to fill it up. So I hope you guys liked, uh, I looked on YouTube and didn't see a lot of the water systems that I wanted. Uh, most of them were pressurized tanks and I wanted something you didn't have to pressurize the tank. And so I built this. Uh, but this little valve here is a uh, pressure release valve. As the water is dropping down, it'll vapor lock on you if you don't have a way of sucking air in to replace that water that's going out. So you got to make sure you add one of those into it. And once you're all done filling it up or using it to shower and clean stuff, you just disconnect it. Give it a tug. And the hose is back away. Thank you guys.